In this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow people to enter information when the barcode is scanned. So I have an attendance record similar to what I've done before. And I also have uh, the ID number name in an out time and total hours. Now I have a list of names here and uh, here are the names and the barcodes and, and the emails that are associated with them. The emails are because people, um, they'd want to email these people after they have attended their conference or whatever. And so then, so let's enter one that I know is in there. So I'm gonna go, um, so now I'm gonna enter one that I know is in there. So I'm gonna type 9999 and there, there you get, Philip Neal comes up and this is the time that he comes in the door. Now, so we have, let's, let's put another letter in here, um, be, letters in here because I know there's no letters. So let's go D, 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 D and press enter. And the DDD does not appear in the names list, and so it comes up with a dialog box asking you to enter the name. So I'm going to put um, Donna um, D O U G S Dugs, and then I'm going to go put uh, D D D O U. Um, gs at gmail.com and then I'm going to go add info okay so now if we close down the, the dialog box you can see that you have uh, the name the barcode the name and the time they went in but also if you go over to the names you also have Donna Duggs at the bottom of your list here. It's been entered automatically. Okay, so now um, time goes by, and so let's uh, let Philip Neal leave. So let's go uh, 9999. And so he's been there for approximately a minute and 39 seconds. And let's go um, D, 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 D. And Donna Duggs has been there for 46 seconds totally. So now let me show you how I did this. So what the code is doing, first of all, it's, it's acknowledging that there's actually something in the barcode, uh, the barcode cell, which is uh, two, one, row two, column one. And now it's looking for that barcode to see whether the, this person has already entered. Okay, if if he have, have not already entered, then it's going to um, go and it's going to look in the, um, in the sheet two for the names list to see if they are, they're registered for the, for the conference. Now, if they are not registered, then they will, um, then we'll bring up the user form, which I'm going to go into in a few minutes. Or if they are registered, then what they're going to do is they're going to copy from um, the, the, sheet, the name sheet, and they're going to put the, uh, the barcode in the active cell, the name in range, uh, second, the second cell over, and they're going to put the time that they entered in. Now, um, if they uh, if they are already in there, then basically what it's going to do is it's going to find the barcode on the first sheet, and then it's just going to put in the time that they exit, and then it's going to calculate the difference in time for for the the amount of time they've spent at this uh, at this at this conference. Okay, so now let's go back to um, this user form one. Um, it's important when you're putting user forms up to make sure you include the size and the width and height of this uh, user form just through the fact that if you don't, they, see, they tend to grow when you end up having user forms that are huge. Okay, so now let's go and I'm going to open up my user form. So basically, I just have uh, a field for name and a field for email address. And now let me show you the code that I'm doing to add the information. 
And so basically what the, um, what the code is doing for this is a barcode is it's taking the barcode from where it was scanned. And um, I had to call it a name because uh, name is a, a used or a, a restricted uh, um, a re restricted word in the VBA. So a name equals text box one, email equals text box three, and sheet one activate. And so um, it's going to find uh, the first empty row there, and it's going to put active cell equals barcode offset, and you're going to put a name in there, and then you are going to offset and put in the date and time in that um, in that sheet. Now it's going to go to sheet two, um, active sheet, and it's going to find the first blank one, and then it's going to put in the barcode, the A name, and the email address. And then it's going to go back to sheet one, activate, and it's going to select, it's going to activate or select the cell where uh, you're scanning in the next barcode. So I will include the code for both the both the user form and the video or and the normal worksheet here. Please subscribe.